So this video is for FTPing to the web server using Coffee Cup. So I've already opened Coffee Cup. Um, you may see a tips window which you can just close. The first step is going to be connecting to a server. So I'm going to click on the servers button here on the upper left. And then I'm going to click on the little red green plus button at the bottom to create a new server. The server's name is going to be whatever you want it to be. I'm going to go with CMT. 130. The server is creative-media.us. Your username is DACC student. Your password you're going to get from WebCT for security reasons. And you're going to use passive mode as well, so make sure that is checked. The last thing you need to do is click the connect button. It'll check your credentials and then load the file list. So on the left hand side is your local file system, on the right hand side is the remote file system up on the web server. You should see a list of folders with your guys' last names because I've already created folders for each person in the class. You want to make sure you transfer your, fo your files only to your folder. We're all naming our files the exact same thing. So if we don't, we'll overwrite each other. So I'm going to find my files on the local system so that I can transfer them. So they're on the desktop, creative media, and that's it. All right. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to double click on my folder's name to move inside of that. And then the next step is to actually upload the files. So I'll select the week two folder and I should be able to move the week two folder because everything we need for that website is inside that folder and that should be true throughout the semester. You want to make sure everything you need is in the folder so that when you move it up to the web server it works the exact same as it did when it was on your local hard drive. If you have links to things outside that folder they'll break when you move the folder up. So to move the folder up you have two options. You can click the upload button up here at the top and you'll see down at the bottom that it's uploading the files in the activity window. Once that's complete, the next step is going to be to view it in a browser. So you need to create the path or URL to the web folder that you just created. So to start with, we're going to start with HTTP colon slash slash and then our domain creative dash media dot us slash CMT 130. And from here on, it's unique to you. So the next folder is going to be your last name. So for me it's Forsyth. And then the rest of the file or the path is to match the, what's going on on the server. So we just uploaded a week 2 folder so we need to put the week 2 folder in. From there um, we have an index file inside of that folder so we could type index.html but we do not have to because remember index.html loads by default. So if you don't type it, it assumes it. So you do not have to type. So that should be it. That's our URL for this week. When I click OK or enter, it loads the page. Now I want to make sure that the page appears the same as it did on the local hard drive and that all the links still work, which they should since they were absolute URLs. Assuming you're happy and nothing's broke, you're done. And the next step would be to copy paste this URL into the Blackboard assignment for that week. Okay. If you have questions, let me know. That's it for FTPing with Coffee Cup.